So Red One made its debut this past weekend at the box office. The much ballyhooed, the hyped movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Chris Evans, as well as J.K. Simmons. Um, we'll just say box office wise, in my opinion, the, the, the response was kind of meh. I mean, this is the first, I guess, Christmas movie. Uh, released of the holiday season. And um, full disclosure, I haven't seen it yet. I may not see it in the box office. I may for, wait for it to come out streaming on Netflix because this is a production of Netflix. Um, and I think it's in conjunction with The Rock's production company, Seven Bucks Productions. Um, so I am just basically going over the, the critics' reaction the fan reaction and the numbers and what this movie might be projected to do. Is it going to be a box office bomb? Is it going to at least break even and make its money back? Well, only time will tell. So here we here we have from cosmic book news, Matt McGloin, Dwayne Johnson's red one bombing at box office. It's not looking good for Dwayne Johnson's Christmas Santa heist movie, red one which also stars Chris Evans, J.K. Simmons, and Lucy... Oh, Lucy Liu's in this. Ah. Surprise. Another, another fairly uh, prominent actress in Hollywood. The Flip... The Flick... The Flip... The Flick opened this weekend, but is currently bombing big time at the box office. On a reported massive budget of $250 million, that does not include the ad and marketing spend, which is probably another, I'll, I'll say 75 million, just to be conservative-ish. Estimates for the opening weekend for Offer Red One will not, will only open to 30 to 33 million. Monday update, actuals are 34 million. The movie was originally set for an Amazon Prime streaming release, but they switched gears and released theatrically. Oh, so this is, I, I, I was wrong. This isn't a Netflix produced uh, movie. This is an Amazon produced movie. So I'm sure it'll be on Prime sh soon enough. So it goes on to say here, Red One does have good fan reviews. So maybe word of mouth will get out and save the film. Rotten Tomatoes fans have given Red One an 88% fan score, a critic score 33%. But they never really give Dwayne Johnson movies good reviews. I mean, The Scorpion King, his first major motion picture, pretty decent movie. Uh, the Rundown with Sean William Scott, that was a pretty fun movie. Uh, I'm sure there's some that Dwayne would rather forget. <laughs> uh, what was the one where he played? The, oh, The Tooth Fairy comes to mind um and the flick has an a minus cinema score oh that's not too bad however good scores don't equate to success as recently the transformers one animated movie bombed and has even better scores you can rate and review red one on our new fan site stinky garbage where your reviews count there are already comparisons to Black Adam, which is considered a bomb, but Black Adam performed opening at a much better 67 million, which finished with nearly 400 million. Um, so let's take a look at the numbers here. This is through Sunday, the 17th. Today's Tuesday, the 19th. So domestic-wise, the numbers has uh, the performance of the box office domestically, 30, just over 32 million. Uh, international box office, 51 million for a total accumulation of 83 million. Um, they have their production budget at 200 million. So give or take. So if you, if you want to really break this down, this movie, if we use the numbers from the article here on Cosmic Book News. So at a $250 million budget. We're going to say this movie has to do at least a times three 
And that doesn't include marketing to break even. So 750 million to break even. If we want to be a little more conservative, uh, we'll, we'll give it this. Okay, 625 million to break even if we want to be a little more uh, conservative and less aggressive. So at an opening weekend of only accumulating 80, just over 83 million, this movie's going to have a very tough road to make money, to be profitable. In my opinion. Now, maybe, maybe the word gets out because if you look at here on Rotten Tomatoes, the verified audience score is 90%. All, all audience is at 84%. And it's not unusual for the audience to like a movie and the critics not to like it. I mean, top critics is at 23%. All critics is at 33%. Um, so it's not all that unusual as, as most of us know. There are movies that the critics just absolutely hate. But the audience loves and the word gets out that, hey, the audience likes this movie. Word of mouth kicks in and then the movie just takes off. So it's got a chance. It's a slim chance, but it's a chance. So. I mean, this is probably going to hit streaming probably right before Christmas would be my guess since it is an Amazon backed um, movie. My guess is probably middle of December. It'll be out of theaters. It'll be streaming. That's probably when I will catch it. I don't think it's worth even going to a, a, a weekend matinee at a discounted rate to go see it in the theater. So what do you guys think? You think the latest from Dwayne The Rock Johnson is going to make money for Amazon, MGM? Or do you think this is going to be another in a long, long line this year of just high budget box office bombs comment down below tell me what you guys think while you're at it please take the time to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video and with that i will catch you guys later